Mm. Oh, there seem to be quite some dead mind flayers. I wonder why. Those ships are so amazing. Those Nautiloid ships. Like living vessels. And quite powerful at that, as you will see. It's just so cool that you can just use the ship with have psionic powers. You should spot them. It's kind of facility to create many more mind flares, I guess. Tadpole for everyone. Oh, and he even feels the pain. But like, they're kind of synced. Them, they sound like a Yankee with the red fragments. Ooh. I'm not sure if that is maybe the Shadow Falls or another plane. I guess so. Doesn't look so good. <laughs> so, where are we? Very subtle hint to Ball's Gate 3. It's quite a lot, like one of the seven hells. Lovely. You thought starting with a mind flayer port tadpole wasn't enough? Here we are, in the hell, literally. <laughs> and they also changed the wallpapers on the loading screens. Quite nice. At least we survived and also that Githyanki girl. Hmm. <clears throat> My head. Look around. And wow, even the early access looked quite nice. And like everything looks a little bit nicer and a little bit better. Actually, there's glowing tentacles here. And the fire effects. Ah, this is going to be so awesome! 
Yeah, let's have a look at this nursery. And let's hope there are no more tadpoles alive. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. At least there are some left, you see them? They don't seem to be moving. I mean, good riddance. So, let's do our first check and investigate the pool. I would say that's off to a good start. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Well, I guess better not touching it. Because it seemed quite volatile. And also amazing that the creature still seems to be alive enough to fly. Because, I mean, that looks like quite the damage. I mean, not that I feel compassion for the mind players. Oh, you got a gem? I, I do, don't mind if I take that one. Good. Viridian crystal. Ooh. A chemical ingredient. True, they also introduced alchemy. So now you can, like, uh, create different substances and potions and everything. Like alchemist fire or oil of accuracy. But I think so far we are lacking the ingredients. I don't think we have much of healing potions and a scroll of revivify. I mean, quite nice of the mind flare that they let us keep those things. We have an alchemy powered, a chem supply sack, a topis, and gold. And we got underwear. I still really like the, uh, the standard outfit from the Bards. Ah, look at us. We look so cool. Ooh. Let's see if there's someone else inside here. Someone else got out. Ah, it could be Lazel, right? Mm, there are quite a few. But I wonder how the Mind Flayers died. Because, I mean, even before the Githyanki attacked, you saw some dead Mind Flayers. Call restoration. Surely it will do some good if we touch it, right? Right. Oh, I feel better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, sphincter. I guess we are really inside of a living being. Ooh, illithid record. Can we read Images it? Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Yeah. Are they here? Are they kind of researching the people they kill? And they also have this chair. Tell me. We are trapped. Let's take it. Our first loot. Ooh, and there's a brain jar. And well, it's just a brain in a jar. Humanoid brain, alive and in perfect condition, suspended in cerebrosial, cerebrospinal fluid. Hmm. Not really sure if we should destroy it or shouldn't. That's a cerebral aquarium. And another Edred tablet. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. Interesting. I mean, still pretty cruel, but also interesting. <laughs> what is that? It doesn't look like something you're supposed to touch. Now so let's touch it. Way more of those brain jars. Oh, and he's still alive, but under operation. Oh, and quite the open skull. And quite yes. bloody. You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. Mm. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. 
Before they return! They return. Um... Wait. Who am I talking to? A man or brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. We're talking you to a brain. You're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Yeah. Hmm, say, you kind of sound afraid. Why is that? The enemy. So many enemies. Yeah, the first good question. Shall we kill this intellective aura as a minion of the, of the Mind Flayers? But at the same time, it doesn't seem to regard us as an enemy, right? So... Curious, as Garen is. I think you're past the point of saving, and I don't really know what to do to help you, so what should I do? Remove us from this body, from this case. Free us, please. Hmm. Let's try to inspect the exposed brain. Maybe we can find something out. Huh. Well enough. You notice a deema, a swelling of the brain, causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. I guess the human is kind of lost anyway. Oh nice, and due to that we now have advantage and can attempt a cerebral extraction, staying mindful of the swelling. So let's do that. Advantage. Come on. Ah. Good thing we rolled twice. <laughs> the brain lifts from the skull. You. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Nah. I mean, I guess if it wants to kill us... I'm not sure how powerful they are. Garen decides to spare the creature. Any injuries might weaken it. I mean, so far it looks quite small. Well... Free. Our freedom is ours, friend! The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. Ah, the tadpole. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. Does it think we are a mind flayer? Or a mind flayer? Or someone going to become a mind flayer? So that's why it is helping us? Or us is helping us? That's confusing. Um, why to the helm? What exactly is there? What do we expect? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? Mm -hmm. We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. Uh, do we really want to help the Mind Flayers? But I mean, I guess devils will kill everyone here, both the Mind Flayers and their minions, and us. Um, just for reference, what should I call you? Do you have, like, a, a name or anything? Us. We are us. You know, most, um, Mindflayer colonies have an elder brain and they kinda, um, are like a hive mind. So they have a shared conscience and I think it's kinda relating to that. That you have this, this we, this us. And it kind of seems to think we are part of that, right? Hmm. What should go wrong? All right, let's go. Sounds like an adventure. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm. The voice is so creepy and nice. Newborn. And now we have a companion. 
I hope it stays on our side. Otherwise, uh, it has 2 HP more than us. This is going to get confusing so fast. You know, us has more HP than us. <laughs> oh well. But it seems kind of friendly. And it's not... It's no longer newborn and now it has 21 hit points. Oh well. Oh, and there we can see some imps. Wow. Nice. They really improved how things look. Amazing. I think we'll meet our friend again. rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. Nice. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squall. Guess it's that post connecting us. Flacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Yeah, absolutely. The meeting up with her is really nice. In the Alexis, you could see her on a ledge, like, above you. And now it was, like, completely out of the blue. What exactly made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. What? You, you mean we are turning into Mind Flayers? There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then yeah. we find the helm and take control of the ship. What are they eating? As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Hmm. He seems quite pragmatic. Attacker! Looks like our first fight. What exactly were they eating? Ugh, death rolls. Not that nice. Let's try to not share the same fate. Hit him where it hurts, Lizelle. Bardic Inspiration. Because that's one of the features as a bard. You can inspire people. And they get an additional die to attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws. So quite nice. I don't know. Another of those restoration pots somewhere here. We have it so we can go all out, use all our resources. Let's make this one back here her dissonant whispers. See? 14 damage and just 6 HP. Go us! Nice. I think that went perfectly. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the helm. Thanks. Interesting that Lazelle as well wants to go to the um, to the helm. If we can ask her about that. Not now. We must go okay. to the helm. Apparently not. Hmm. You know, it's hard to not ask questions in such a situation. Why the helm? Control over the ship. Or do you wish to die here? Tommy. Who exactly are you, even, and why are you helping me? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Now move. 
You are wasting time. Ah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it's not the best time to chat. So much explo exposed flesh. See if the thrall has anything. Another healing potion. And that we take. And let's see. Ah, it restores everything. It's like a long rest, so all HP or resources you get back. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. Need to get out before it's too late. Uh, I wonder if you really have a, um, a time limit, or if it's just storytelling. They completely changed how this whole ship looks. Cool. Are you coming? 